Hello and welcome to Guidance with Tragic O'Hara, the place where I thought dressing up like a guidance teacher and answering people's questions was a stupid idea and uh, for some reason people have sent me in more questions. <laughs> Look at that, look at that. Using my very expensive stickers to seal cheap envelopes. Is drawing your favourite thing to do? I don't know. I don't think I've got a favourite thing to do. Like, because see, since I've started saying that things, like, I just make things. It, my favourite thing to do is just make things. And some of them involve drawing, and some of them involve, like, making music, and some of them involve filming, and I don't know. So I don't really have a favourite Drawing, uh, drawing's not my favourite thing to do. Just making things is my favourite thing to do. Drawing's just a, an aspect of it, I suppose. I like drawing. Like, I, I, I need, I, like, I like doing it. I like drawing more now that I've stopped trying to draw everything realistic. When I stopped trying to draw everything realistic, that's when I was like, oh, I actually enjoy this again. Like, try to make everything look real, suck the fun out of it for me. So I'd say right now, currently, yeah, drawing's probably my favourite thing to do, but then tomorrow it'll probably be something completely different. You know what I mean? That's the beauty of just seeing things as things, rather than, like, important things or not important things. More expensive sticker wastage. How many people have you drawn? Oh, right, so I've been drawing people. Like, I've been drawing people without looking at them, right? Uh, but, like, I was always drawing pictures of people when I wasn't, like, n not real people. Well, I, well, real people, but not, like, real people in front of me people. Like, I was drawing, like, people I liked, MF Doom and such. Like, I'd just be drawing that. But I started drawing people in Govan. Uh, and I must have... I didn't think people would be into it. A bit like this guidance teacher thing, right? And then, next thing I know, I'd cure, like, 40 people. So between them... And all the people, uh, about a hundred now, and I've only, I've governed, the government thing was last week. Like, I just kind of, kind of went for it. Like, I'm just going to draw people, because folk, it's funny. Like, it is funny, because people look at the really poorly drawn picture of themselves and go that, and they laugh. And that's quite, that's much better, I think, than me sitting meticulously. Like, it took me about two hours to draw those 40, 40 people and talk to them all at the same time. Like, that was the good thing, was like, just being able to talk to people and then telling you things and then you're drawing them and... Don't know. So I about I don't know about hundred so far, but I I can actually see this being something that I do forever because it's quite one. It's easy to do, and this and two. It's it's funny. Like and it's different every time because everyone's got a different face, right? But what it, what it has done has been a few times I've been sitting somewhere and I've seen someone and I've thought ah, I'd love to draw your face. <laughs> like, <laughs> I seen a guy. <laughs> I seen a guy. Last week was it, and he had uh, interesting ears, and I was like, "Oh, I'd love to draw you, man! Like, I'd love to draw your ears." Like, that never happened. Like two weeks ago. Like, <laughs> how fast do walruses run? Not very fast, I don't think. Like, I think they're more. I think they're more. Be they're better swimmers than they are runner runners. Like, they don't have legs. You'd assume that something with more legs would be able to run faster than something with just flippers. Do you know what I mean? So I don't think they fast they, they fast very run. I don't think they run very fast at all. They'd swim very fast, which is... I, I don't swim very fast, but I, I would run faster than a walrus. Well, I'd hope I'd run faster than a walrus, because... Like, I think they could... I think they could mess you up, to be fair. Like, I don't think... That, but then it's a good thing that the actual walrus that I'm chasing isn't an actual physical, like, 500-pound animal. That would be stupid. <laughs> that would be a stupid thing to chase. Do you know what I mean? What's your favourite Disney film? Star Wars. Opinions and Cupcake. I have never even looked at Cupcake. Do you know, everyone keeps saying to me, oh, you should listen to Cupcake. And I'm like, should I? Like, should I really? Like, I don't know. People keep, When people say it, they have a big smile on their face. Like, oh, you should listen to Cupcake. I'm like, <laughs> not if it makes you make that face. <laughs> like, not, if it, not if that's the face it makes you make. Like, it sounds as if, some of the things I've heard that people say, it's like this really, I don't know, like it's going to be pure offensive and stuff like that, but pff, I think the days of offending people through music is over. Do you know what I mean? It seems like stand-up comedy is where it's at when it comes to offending people. So I don't have an opinion, to be fair. I don't think you can have an opinion on something you've never actually listened to. That would be a, that would be a, sh that would be a very, that's politicians that do that. Do you know what I mean? Politicians that have a, opinions on things that they've never done. Know what I mean? 
Do I think people like my art? And if it does, if they do, does it make me happy? Do you think people like your art? I don't know. I think so. I think some. I think people like my art. I think. Well, I do. I know people like my art because they've told me that. Like they have said, like I like your art. Like I like what you do. And then, and if I do, does it make me happy? It makes me happy if it makes them happy. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm. Like, oh, it's good. Like at least when I draw that picture of someone and they laugh, I'm like that bit makes me happy. Like when they laugh, or if there's something like that. Like I like that, but it's not. It's not the reason why I do it. Like that's the thing. Like I think if you do stuff. If you were to make anything and you were thinking, I'm making this so that people like it, then it's doomed to fail. It, it, it's do, you, it's, it is doomed to fail because, like, cool comes with a pay cut. That's one of my favourite. Rob Zombie said that. Cool comes with a pay cut. And it's that bit, but it's like, if you measure how good something is based on how many people like it and not on whether or not you like it, then it's kind of doomed. Do you know what I mean? It's just kind of doomed. Like, so I like it. I like what I make. And if I don't like what I make, I don't really talk about it. Like, there's loads of stuff I make that I don't like. I'm like, ah, I don't really like that. And it goes away. Like, I never finish anything that I don't like. Like, there's hundreds of half finished things in here. Hundreds of half. That was a shark. That was, I started with an airbrush and I didn't like it. So now that's where I was mixing paint and I was painting, painting that thing. Like, and if I don't like it, I don't, I don't keep doing it. Like, I would never do something and then halfway through it go I don't really like that and then keep going to see if I like it I've just put it next or I'd leave it for ages and then eventually go back like that was a bunch of eyes and then I just started I was listening to the Stooges and I started drawing Iggy Pop on it and then I don't know I don't know what it'll be like that's it like I'll just sit there for a while until the next time I've got I, I want to do something like it's not so I suppose, yeah, when I make something, if I make something and I like it and someone else likes it, it makes me happy. But if I make something and I like it and someone doesn't like it, it doesn't really bother me. Do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't really bother. There's 7.2 billion people on the planet. Like, my, my opinion on what I do should outweigh the opinion on someone that isn't doing it. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I don't, I don't measure what I like on what other people like, because... What would, be, what would be the point? What would be the point in that? You know what I mean? So yeah, I don't even know if I've answered that. Do you think people like your art? Yes. If you do, does it make you happy? Yes. But there's hundreds of butts. <laughs> hundreds of butts. Do you have a dog? No, I have two cats, and I only got them recently. Like uh, I'm not a not that I'm not a fan of dogs, right? Like I don't want the internet to hate me because I like I don't I don't I I, I I'm not a fan of dogs. I'm, it's not that I'm not a fan of dogs. I just think sometimes dogs. I don't like the idea of turning up and having a dog asking me, do you still love me? Like that kind of, that whole thing, like you've been away for 10 minutes and the dog thinks you're never coming back ever again. I quite like turning up and my two cats kind of go, all right mate, and I'm like, how you doing? <laughs> how have you been? Then that's it. Like I quite like that. So I don't have a dog, I've got two cats. Look at this one, right? Door one and door two. My favourite thing ever. Woofed. My favourite thing ever. Of all the things, my favourite of all the things that exist, not a family member, like that, it, my that would be horrible, wouldn't it? Like I've got two kids. <laughs> Imagine I was like, my favourite thing ever is this child. <laughs> that would be rough. Uh, my favourite thing ever. Ah, just I don't know, man. I you could I couldn't. I really couldn't just say my favourite thing ever. My favourite thing ever is the feeling that I get from the things. That's probably the only way I can answer that. Do you know what I mean? Like, that, that my favourite thing ever is the feeling that I get from the things. Like, the feeling I get from listening to Motorhead and the feeling I get from listening to MF Doom and the feeling I get from watching Fight Club and the feeling I get from listening to uh, or, or reading The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Like, that's my favourite thing ever. My favourite thing ever is the, the first time you experience it. Like, that first time. I remember hearing... My friend brought round Jeff Buckley playing Hallelujah live at the CNA, right? And he was like, you need to listen to this, man. And he, and he put it on. And I remember just being like, this is unbelievable. This is un this is one guy and a guitar in front of, I don't know, man, maybe 20 people like playing this thing. And it's unbelievable like to listen to the recording. So I don't, I couldn't comprehend being one of the 20 people in the room hearing that thing. Like that's... The first time you experience a thing, like that's my favourite thing ever, is that kind of, that, that feeling, like the first time 
I heard Nirvana, or the first time I heard MF Doom, or the first time I heard the Wu Tang. Uh, do you know what I mean? Like, first time I seen Beastie Boys, like that kind of thing, is my first, my favourite thing. Is the first time experiencing it. That that's probably my favourite thing. And I don't really, I don't really get how people have what. See people that have one favourite thing. It's like people that listen to one type of music. That I don't understand that. Like, see people that can't see past like metal. Or people that can't see past jazz, like if it, it, if it's just if you, that's I don't get that I don't understand how with everything that has been made how you can narrow it right down to one very specific vein of thing that just doesn't make sense to me. It's like people that like jazz but hate hip hop. You can you can you can see how it turned into that though. Like I, I, that's the, I don't understand that. So I don't I do have a favorite thing ever, but it's that the the feeling of the thing.